Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Making Memories. Today's episode's a little bit different than the ones you've experienced before. I like trying new things here when we're uh, talking about making memories, and today I really do want to focus on a positive topic, a topic that I've asked our community. You may have seen it. I love doing these polls on Instagram, and I asked our community, what would you do differently if you were the CEO of the Disney company, specifically for Walt Disney World? Not talking about any other part of the company, no movie parts, just specifically about Walt Disney World, and I've got hundreds of responses. So I'm going to run through as many as I can today, kind of going over your thoughts, uh, sharing in a few of the kind of th common threads that we see, and talk about kind of solutions that Disney could have. Because I, the way I put the question, what is one thing you would change if you were the CEO of the Disney company? There are so many great responses that we got, but it really kind of taps into the fact that our community also has great ideas. And I think uh, one of the common threads that you'll see momentarily is that listening Listening to the community here can change a lot of things for the better. So my hope is that with this video and with others, we'll continue to kind of repeat that message and get it out there that, you know, there, there are things that could be better, that have been better in the past at Disney. Now, these are just a couple of the responses that I got back on Instagram. I'm kind of just going to read them through here. No time restrictions on Park Hopper. That does make a lot of sense, considering that you have to still wait until after 2 p.m. Bring back normal annual pass holder uh, discounts and incentives. That does make sense too. I feel like uh, annual pass holder discounts are still there, but you can't really get an annual pass as easily. And Disney has even said recently where they, you know, they want day guests much more than annual pass holders in that in that meeting in not as many words. Um, but it, it goes to show that this is a different priority. We, you know, annual pass holders do want to feel like, hey, you know, we, we really value you as they value, as they should value all guests. Stop with the upcharges and the removal of benefits. I get that one. Limit park capacity. That, that's a little bit of a different thought we got there. Uh, two things, get rid of Genie Plus and park pass reservation. I think that's a very common one. Uh, the park reservation system is, is touted by Disney, <laughs> um, which kind of goes against, it's like the opposite of what we all think, where it's like, they're like saying, oh, it's so great. And we're all saying it's so bad. You know what I mean? It's like that's it's a complete counter discussion. And I feel like we're just, people are just talking past each other. And I think that more explanation has to be given as to why this is so helpful to them. But it is all about that money. And I think that's something that, again, is a common theme that I've seen here with some of these responses. Bring back real uh, perks for resort guests. That's a big one. I saw that a couple of times. It's a great thought. Bring back dining plan incentives for those coming from the United Kingdom. Love that one. I would love, I would have uh, more 50th anniversary. Right. It just doesn't feel like they're doing that much for it. I, I understand completely. Would uh, remind myself that Disney equals family fun memories, not a stressful vacation. That's, that is so, it's repeated so many times. And that's such a good one because how many times are you there and you're saying to yourself, all right, I got to get on my phone. I got to get at 7 a.m. for this pass and I got to do all this. And I, Genie Plus, I'm constantly on my phone. It adds to the stress. It's, it's got to change. Bring back fast passes. Actually listen to what guests are saying and do something about it. And that's so true. No more reservations. Yep. Another one. Get rid of Genie Plus. I mean, these are like, again, you can hear what people are saying. I'm hoping Disney, you know, hears it too. Uh, Genie Plus, want to, uh, Goodbye to Genie Plus, get rid of park reservations, save Splash Mountain, bring back Fast Passes and Stop Genie Plus program. Keep Walt's wishes and values alive and not cave to the current political environment. I get that's an interesting one. Undo everything Chapek has done. <laughs> I'm just reading the comments. I'm just reading the comments. Make it less political, uh, reinstate annual passes. And again, we have annual passes, but you're right, you can't really get one if you're not uh, living in Florida and you can only get the pixie dust pass to start. You know, you can renew at a higher level, but that, yeah, I, I agree. Bring back Fast Pass Plus. Uh, remove park hopping after 2 p.m. Better benefits for annual pass holders. Focus on the true Disney difference and innovate instead of just copy. I like that one a lot. It's a, it's a really good one. Reimburse uh, reimbursement for the dining plan. Lower costs. Rid of the new fast pass. Rid of having to go from park to park. I would lower the occupancy max number so that people can just enjoy the magic. And that, that it's two different thoughts. Lower crowds or get rid of the reservation system because the reservation system hypothetically makes for lower crowds. But this kind of goes to another conversation that we've had before where it's like Disney could have chosen to either go with full on in and invest in another park and more, you know, as they were planning to before all the lockdowns, more resorts that leads to more roads, leads to more parks, right? Or make it so expensive so that the current parks aren't super crowded and they chose the latter. Make it less expensive. An hour and a half morning magic hours for all resort guests would lower capacity in the afternoon. Restore the value back for what you're paying for. 
another one. Focus on creating more new rides. Get rid of the park reservation system. Bring back fast passes. Stop focusing on IPs for everything and only thinking about the dollar. Go back 30 years and adapt the way you're doing business. Park ticket management. Park reservations, annual passes, Genie Plus, it's all of those things. Invest in new rides to be able to handle more people in the parks. Bring back free fast passes. Fast pass, Genie Plus, pass holder, appreciation day. Nothing huge, just something. And don't forget, these are all coming from like really dedicated Disney fans, all of us who want Disney to succeed. I'm just reading them off for you here, but I wanted to kind of get you know our finger on the pulse a little bit and see if we're all kind of feeling the same way. And it it, it sure looks like it. Bring back fast passes as they were, lower ticket prices, stay out of politics, bring fast passes back, get rid of Genie Plus, get rid of Genie Plus a second time, prioritize magic over money. It's clear that Disney's money hungry and not making decisions for guests. Yep. Give annual pass holders three free Lightning Lane passes or deluxe resort guests. Right. So make it a more of an incentive to have an annual pass or be at the Disney resort. Um, Definitely need a new CEO, lower prices, bring back free fast passes, get rid of 2 p.m. park hopping. You see the trends here, right? This is continuing. Get rid of fast passes for Lightning Lane, old Mickey and Minnie costumes. That's that's a unique one. Bring back Happily Ever After fireworks. That's also a new one that we're reading. Uh, scrap individual Lightning Lane pricing. Everything, including JPEG, must go. <laughs> wow. Uh, how will new guest experience in the parks and enhanced 2023? So think about guest experience in 2023. Get people off their phones all day in the park. I mean, it, it's it's amazing. It's it's a lot of the things we've been talking about. Bring back f free fast passes. Improve the guest experience and stop raising prices on everything. Pay cast members more. Scrap paid Lightning Lane. No more park reservations. Bring back extra magic hours. Make it more affordable for families. It's just it's going on and on and on. And there are it just it, it's just continuing right. And this just it's amazing to me that you know, a company as experienced as Disney doesn't take more of these to heart. Stop the nickel and diming, prices, change the fast pass system, bring back the meal plan, create space that takes away from the real world. Get rid of Lightning Lane, only standby. Bring back the magic. Park investment commitment. I like that one. Lower the price of admission. Bring back the free dining plan. Bring back Magical Express. All those little things are starting to add up for guests, right? This is this is not just some, you know, onesie twosie. A lot of people are saying the same thing, right? It's not just one or two people. Everyone is feeling the same way. Looking a little quicker now, it's a lot of the same things. Ooh, I like this one. Bring back Illuminations, Reflections of Earth. Like that one. Continuing on stop the reservation system it's just it continues it's more and more of the same right it's it's stop the reservation system take away genie plus and lightning lane you know make it about the guest experience and invest right that i think is really really important for disney to hear another one that is common is do away with people having to be on their phones all day to get on attractions i mean imagine you're there with just a small family of four you say to yourself okay, I, I just want to go and have a great vacation. I've actually been to the parks recently with some extended family, and it's it's fascinating because they come into it and they're, they're just completely lost as to what they have to do. You basically either have to travel with an expert or just do a ton of research in advance. It, it's like you just can't go and have fun anymore. You have to do a ton of research and, and be on your phone the entire time. I mean, it's it's not how Walt envisioned it. Pay attention to what the guests are saying and focus on Walt's dream. I, this, I couldn't have said it better myself. This is <laughs> do everything opposite of Bob Chapek to keep this short and sweet. Okay, well, <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm, uh, yeah, these, there's a lot of comments here. Bring back APs, lower prices, bring back happily ever after. I'm in, I'm in favor of all of these things and more. And I think it kind of goes to show that Disney's got this core audience who loves what they do and want to continue to go back again and again, but it's getting more difficult. And with Disney's most recent calls, uh, I think some of their financial calls, they're talking about how there's some guests who are going, I think it was about Disneyland, who are, I don't have this exact quote, but it was like less than desirable who are there, something like that. Um, I forgot exactly how they put it. Like, you know, they, they didn't say it quite like that, but it, it came across like that. And I think they were re referring to magic key holders. And that's just like, it doesn't, it doesn't really speak true to Walt's vision and Walt's dream that we all know and, and really appreciate. And it's why we're there. Uh, and I think Disney's got to really start thinking about all the things we've been talking about for months. We've been saying this, this is not just brand new. These are all things that we're saying, but it's great to get a kind of a feel on the pulse of how our entire community is feeling with this. It's something that a lot of us agree on. And I think Disney's got to, you know, eventually make that change. It might not be for a while though. Now, do I think that these changes will ever take place? Perhaps maybe one day in the future, but it's going to take a long time. 
Disney's got to realize that it's about the longer game of keeping committed guests rather than the shorter game of making instant you know money right now. That's just my two cents on it. Clearly, I'm not in charge, but it's uh, it's one of those things where I think a lot of us can see the bigger picture. And when you're in those board meetings, maybe thinking bigger picture, but not being able to see it on the ground might be a little bit different. So we'll find out more in the future for sure. Huge thanks to you for participating in this poll. If you're looking to kind of participate in these in the future, and I want to continue to have these discussions, get our finger on the pulse of how we're all feeling, feel free to go ahead and follow me on Instagram. That's usually where I post these polls in advance of making these videos. A huge thanks to you for watching and listening, and a special thanks to our patrons for making it all possible. Until next time, have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon.